Marvel Studios has chosen to let director Taika Waititi and Valkyrie herself, Tessa Thompson, do the marketing for Thor Love and Thunder in an interesting way. By pointing out that the film is not finished and that some of the special effects look like garbage. Well, that's a bold new strategy. As part of making the rounds to do all the marketing and press for Thor Love and Thunder, in a recent interview with Vanity Fair, director Taika Waititi and Valkyrie herself, Tessa Thompson, both sat down with the outlet and talked a little bit about the film. And surprisingly, they actually bring up the bad special effects and start making fun of how they look particularly bad in one sequence where Korg, the character played by Taika, of course, that's the rock monster for those of you that might not be aware, looks terrible and the effects on him and the lighting shifts from scene to scene. Now, this is something that many people have brought up because it looks jarring and it looks bad and, um... Well, there's plenty of scenes in the film, at least to me at least, watching it where I was like, I don't think that scene is finished. Um, it just didn't look right. Like, there was a lack of depth, sometimes a serious lack of shadowing. Like, it just looked off. Well, um, yeah, they actually openly mock it and make fun of it in this interview, talking about how sometimes he looks a little gray, sometimes he looks a little bit more blue, sometimes it looks like he's not even there and just looks completely fake. And they also joke about splicing together scenes when the actors aren't even there to shoot them and how it kind of looks awkward and can sometimes look, well, fake and like they're reacting to nothing. Again, why would you... Wh why? Why would you bring the CG into question when that's one of the things that people are already bringing up and going, you know what, this really looks awkward, like... The thing that took me out of this film in regards to CG more than anything was Jane's helmet. And there's a particular scene where they're walking, you know, trying to get to the gods and everything. And she just decides, oh, I'm going to put the helmet on. And instead of actually giving Natalie Portman a helmet, it just floats on her head. And there's like a lack of shadowing and depth, like where her eyes should be and everything. And it's clearly just stapled on her head. You don't want to draw attention to that. And you don't want to use it as a piece of marketing. Like, I, I, I am so confused by this. This is one of those things where this just doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, you know, you're also pointing out the shoddy work there and pointing out that the people worked on it maybe didn't deliver what you wanted. It's kind of like throwing them under the bus. This, this whole thing, I just... I'm not feeling this. Certainly a bold strategy to go, you know how people complain about our CG sometimes looking bad? Let's do an interview where we point out that the CG is bad. Yeah.